Okay, we're here with Sarah today. Now, Sarah's kindly showing us her shoulder and it is one that's really interesting. Sarah's got a winging scapula or a winging shoulder blade. Now, she's seen this a couple of weeks, so she's actually improved quite a bit. Um, now, when she's standing, you can't really see it that well, okay? This is your left shoulder, her right shoulder is the winging one, but you can see a little bit because it's sitting on an angle. So, see this left one? That's sort of straight up and down. So here's the shoulder blade, imagine the triangle here. This one is tilted off this way, which makes it look like she's got a bit of a drop shoulder. That's one of the first signs you see of someone with a drop shoulder. So her right shoulder is dropped down. Sometimes you can see the upper trap working a little bit harder to try and counteract that. Now, the big thing about her one is hers is mainly because her serratus anterior has got like a type of palsy where the nerve supply to the muscle is not working very well and the muscle is completely switched off. Now she had a rotator cuff problem that was a precursor to that but what's happening is her shoulder blade sits like that and it wings out. Now that's because serratus anterior is sitting here that usually pulls it flat, okay, is letting go so it's just lifting up. Now to fix a winging scapula, we've got to work on her serratus anterior. What you don't work on is your rhomboid. So she can pull back, so pull back for me. Her rhomboids are working fine. You can see them working here. So people try and fix a winging shoulder blade by pulling their shoulder blades back. That's the complete wrong thing to do. That's actually the opposite muscle of what serratus anterior does. Serratus anterior protracts, whereas the rhomboids retract. So don't try and set your shoulder blades back to try and fix a wing escape because it's not going to work. So her one is very functional. So if you raise your thumbs forward for me. Yeah. Now what you can see is it's there it is there. Okay, come and have a look at this a little bit closer. So see her left one is reasonably okay. Her right one is starting to wing out. Now if you go above your head for me, okay, hold it there. So now you can see, can you see that big shadow line coming through here? She's really, what's happened is that's instead of being flat, this has gone like this. So now you can see that shadow line coming in here. Now she's actually improved. This is actually better than what she was. She was really bad. Um, but then you can see other muscles in here working quite hard. But her serratus anterior is completely letting go. And what it does is it restricts her. Because it lets go, her shoulder blade doesn't rotate either. So if you go above your head for me, she gets to the point where she can't really go any further because she can't get the shoulder blade abducting and rotating out because the muscle on here is not it's not working to pull out it outwards. Me, All the way out. There you can see that shoulder blade really pulling inward. So at that point there her shoulder blade has come all the way in. Okay so she's really winging at this point. This one's sitting out over here. You can see the line of this one out of here. This one's almost sitting on the corner line. So her whole shoulder is actually dived inwards. It's supposed to go that way as it rotates outwards and upwards and hers is actually rotating in. So she's lost her serratus control which means she can't get that shoulder blade rotated which means she can't get range. Now if you go as high as you can Sarah you'll see that she can't get full range on her right side. Can you see that? So there's her left. Go as high as you can on your left. Go as high as you can on your right. She can't get there and that's not because she's weak here. It's because this shoulder blade is stuck down and not rotated up like this one. See how that shoulder blade is here so there's that line there there's the shoulder blade there this one is still down here okay so this one needs to be way out here so this is going to take a lot of strength training now if we look at the wall go to the wall for me Sarah so go back to the wall over here so when she puts two hands up on the wall there you can see it really going there there it is there all right so if you put can you see that now okay take your left hand away from me Sarah all right good you can really see that shoulder blade just sitting completely off kilter that way whereas this one sits flush. Now if you try and do a scapular press at that point for me Sarah with two hands she's actually got better at this so she's learning some control she's getting a little bit more strength she's going to retract and then try and protract you can see how she's actually that shoulder is moving out and there's the winging there I'll just come around here a little bit more go forward so yeah, she goes there. So it actually, it actually hold it there for me, Sarah. It's actually, she can actually can move it there, but you can see this whole outline here. And when she comes in, she's actually not doing too bad today. You're actually progressing well. Push away again for me. But you can see it's just not as flush. Yeah, that's 
sitting nicely beautifully there and this one's sitting basically the shoulder blade is sitting up that's why you can see in here you can actually I can get my hands in under the shoulder blade right and under here see that it's like a chicken wing isn't it and that's what I can get so we need that flush against the spine um, and that's to do with her serratus anterior and some lower trap activation work here so that's a really important one we've got to get better plus her abduction and prime which I'll show you in a minute